Now then, ladies, I've come for the beast. Oh, he's busy. He's back here, mate. Good as new. What's his damage, pal? Well, to anyone else, it'd be 70. But to you, 80. You are a legend, Ty. <laughs> Well, let's go through the books. Back off, brother. You fancy baby later? Oh, she letting you out, is she? Behave. <laughs> is she, though? Yeah, she's working. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I can smash a few back if I'm invited. More to marry you. Big K? No, I've got three MOTs coming in later. Lloyd's dropping some cabs off. I might knock off early. No, I think we should both stay behind. Time you thinking? Yeah, where do you want to go? Well, we'll meet in the cafe, talk tactics. Yeah, and what sort of tactics? Hey, Oh, just, you know, where we're going to go, trainers or shoes, that sort of thing. I won't do a date, you're Rosie, Kev. Good. So I'm gonna bit meet the fuckers, isn't it? Yeah, no, you're on shaky ground there, mate. <laughs> anyway, your drinks are on me. Why's that? Just to say I owe him one. You owe me a few. Right, what do I owe you, mate? 70. Oh, 80, Chief. Oh. He hasn't got a clue, has he? <laughs> I'm sure he knows. <laughs> what is he playing at? Hey, it's in the bag, that. She likes girls. Who doesn't? No, Tommy, I'm being serious. She's gay. Yeah, I know. What, and you still think you're in there? <laughs> well, you know, work in progress, isn't it? Bye. Bye. See you, Sean. <laughs> Don't believe this. I can't even pull straight birds, and he's making lesbians swoon. Well, she's only trying to be friendly. I mean, you know, girls are allowed to laugh at your jokes without wanting to jump into bed with you. Really? Well, apparently. Oh, I think I'm ready. Ready for what? Get back in the saddle? Yes. Well turned. Nice and nice, Tyrone. <laughs> hey, if you are not having breakfast with the lady in the morning. Oh, don't put that kind of pressure on me. Just let me talk to one first, eh? Oh, okay. Are you all done with us, Tyrone? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, uh, thanks, Anna. That's, that's great, thanks. You've got Kelly Brooks, yeah? Right? Yeah. Right, and the Spanish bird, Penelope, what's her name? Who's? Her hair, right? And Angelina Jolie's eyes, and Cameron Diaz's his nose. Wow. Cameron Diaz's nose. Joe Bugner's got a better looking comp than she has. Yeah, well, I like it because it's not perfect. Makes me feel like we've got more of a chance. <laughs> Mate, you want to set your sights a little bit lower tonight? Hey, I ain't setting my sights anyway. I'm taken for. I'm going to be like, you know, the pundit. Pundit? Yeah, the Alan Hansen of pulling games, all right? <laughs> I'll talk tactics and that, OK? All right, Alan, <laughs> where do we kick off? That lot. Open goal. Oh, oh no. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> Blondie in the denim's all right. Don't make it obvious. Why not? How else is she going to know that you're interested? She's not a mind reader. Luckily. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, get over there. Yeah, me? Well, you're the one complaining about being single. Go on, Ty, get stuck in, lad. Yeah. I, I don't know, maybe. Let's just have another drink first, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> We've been out, I reckon that's his personal best, you know? And she's smiling, too. <laughs> no, I hope he's checked his lies. <laughs> yeah, I'm just over the road, you know, so if you ever need anything seen to. On, on your motor, on, on your car, that is, because I'm just there. I'll bear it in mind. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, it's Tyrone. What's your name? Phoebe. Oh, all right, yeah, like the blonde bird, our friends. Bird. Sorry, girl. Woman. <laughs> we got there in the end. You look a bit like her, I'd say. I'm more often mistaken for Cameron Diaz. Get away. I was, I was just talking about it. I was saying to the lads how she's got a nose like Joe Bugner. Joe who? Oh, Bugner, he was this boxer, but he had a proper busted up boot. <laughs> No, but your, your nose, your nose is fine. It's better than fine. As far as noses go, it's up there with. That's what I first noticed about you. And that's not because it's big and freaky or anything like that. Bye, Tyrone. Yeah, bye, Phoebe. What the hell, I don't want to talk about it. I don't get it. You, you're doing so well. well. You did all the spade work. You're right. I did all the spade work. I dug myself a flaming grave. Myself. I was never any good at this, lad. I'm going home. <laughs> what? Where, where are we going? Hold on. One minute she was smiling, then the next minute she looked like she'd swallowed a slice of lemon. <laughs> All right, will you stop going on? <laughs> yeah, we're disappointed because, you know, it makes a right belt as well, mm. pal. Hang on, I thought you'd hung up your boots, that you was on the match of the day so far. Yeah, yeah, but I won't mind a kick about that. Anyway, let's forget about that. Let's get stuck into these. Well, I'm not in the mood. I'll leave you to it. Should go back and have a crack. Nah, I think I'll just settle for Rosie tonight, eh? Everything decent around here is taken. I, mean, I had a good go at Tina. She's still hung up on Forrest Gump. I'll never yeah. understand that. Don't get me started in there, mate. Shah's quite a tasty mind. Mm. I'm well out of bounds. Nah. But when I first met her, she was definitely giving me the signs. <laughs> you go sniffing around here, mate, and she'll give you a sign, all right? She's gay, and she's well into Rosie's sister. You need to leave well alone, eh? Yeah, but if she wasn't actually gay, I'd be doing Rosie's sister a favour, right? Hey, you've not got a cutting house chance. 50 quid as I can. Your funeral, pal. Is there my dad around? No, 
Oh, he's out on a job. Can I help? No, I don't think so. We just wanted a letter to this soup kitchen, that's all. Oh, times are hard, eh? <laughs> Look, if I'd known, I'd take you a bit of butty. Oh, ha ha. Well, I'd give you a lift myself if I had a car out. I don't, so. I don't need where you drive. I was not old enough. <laughs> and I can't afford lessons, so. Well, I'll tell you what, you get hold of a car, and I'll give you lessons for free. Really? Oh, I bet you would. But unfortunately, we can't, so there's no point in discussing it. Thanks. Come on. So he sort us over. It's a sure thing. Well, how was it a sure thing? She was talking to you, wasn't she? And he blew it. Yeah, like Superman <laughs> putting out a fire. All right, so I might be a bit out of practice, but at least I'm not deluded enough to go after a gay bird. <laughs> right, no, no. We're talking Sophie. Sean! All right, now listen, listen. Me and Sinisa are very fond of those girls, right? So you go upsetting them and you're going to have to deal with me, right? Come on, she might be gay, but she's not made out of stone, is she? Uh, Look, lads, she obviously uh, fancies me. She's dead eager for me to give her driving lessons and that. And if I had a car, I would. Fine. There you go, Casanova. Here's us. Oh, that driving lesson. Whose car have you nicked? I've lent in mine. Why? Duh, because she wants to learn how to drive. You do understand the concept of Sean being my girlfriend, right? Why is everything about sex with you? <laughs> Look, can't a guy do a neighbour a favour? I mean, I thought you two were all about helping others and that. Well, we are, yeah, but... Look, if you don't trust me, why don't you come with? But I'm just trying to be a nice guy, yeah? Right, then, why are you fixed for now? You don't have to look at me for approval. She can do what she wants. I'm going to the shelter in a bit anyway. <clears throat> you coming, then what? If you pass your driving test from my lessons, I definitely want some money or something. <laughs> well, anyway, is your seat in the right position? Yep, it's facing the front. <laughs> <laughs> look, if you're not going to take this seriously, uh, then... I am. I'm just excited, that's all. Can you, um, can I start the engine? All right, calm down, Clarkson. I have read the book a hundred times and know about the theory. I just want to get going. Look, slow and steady wins the race, yeah? So, first off, we've got to check to see if your mirrors are in the right position. Here you go. OK, love. <laughs> Start your engine. Right, I'm break off. Clutch in. Into first. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, slow down! Oh, my God, stop with you! Stop! <laughs> What did I tell you about being smooth on a clutch? I drove. I drove. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Can we do it again? What are you doing? Nothing, man. <laughs> Just thought that. I oh, know exactly what you thought. John, you this is too good to be true. You're such a creep. Sean! At least let me give you a lift home. Uh, do you know why you can stick it up, you... <gasps> You sleaze back. No, Sharon. All right, calm down. What the hell do you think you're doing trying on with Sharon when you're only together? Look, you can't blame a bloke for trying. It's nothing personal. Nothing. It's nothing personal. Are you joking, mate? She's my flaming girlfriend. I didn't even think she was going to snog me. I only did it for a bet. You what? It's no biggie. Just Jason bet me that I wouldn't dare make a move. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Oh, you'll never guess what Jason's done. He's never out of that place. <laughs> Hey, oh, where were you? Uh, don't be starting anything in here. Why'd you tell Rosie about the bet? She got absolutely ballistic. I mean it. It's all right, Tina, honestly. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry, don't cut it. She's dumped me now, it's over, that's it. Go on then, hit me. Hey? Tell me, don't worth you a one weirdo. Hit me? No one to blame you. What? I shouldn't have told Rosie. I deserve everything I get. Yeah, you're right. No, shouldn't have done it. Why not buy your pint? Tina, do the honest. Well, I know she comes across as dead gobby and everything. Don't say. But when it comes to Matt... I spoil it. Go on, then. Trouble 20. Oh, unlucky son. Ooh. Oh, my God! You know, I was actually thinking about forgiving you, and here you are. Yeah, well, I was just having a... No! Point, but... No, you were totally pathetic! Try going to spine, Jason. I cannot believe Jason told you to crack on to her. And now he's saying it was my idea because he's too scared of his missus. <laughs> well, yeah, she's a bit bonkers. It's bonkers? Yeah. <laughs> more like mad at them. Hi. Hi, Rosie. Oh, hi, Tommy. I was hoping that I'd catch you in here. Why? Well, we have a leaking tap at number four. Um, do you think you'd be able to come and fix it? Me? Well, yeah, I mean, I would usually ask Jason, but, you know, we broke up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, why not? I reckon I could do way better. 
Do you want a drink? Uh, no, thanks. So, do you think you'd be able to come and fix it? Yeah, sure. Um, don't worry about that, Pint. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't really see a leak. Really? That's strange. Look at us where I saw one before. You're a tease, you know that. Can you see some teeth? Let's go upstairs. Not here. Like your style. You go first. I just want to ring my sister. Make sure she's not coming back. I don't want her walking in on us. Fair enough. Bedroom, second door to the right. Make sure you're ready for me. Don't you worry about that, babe. <laughs> Rosie. Rosie? What the? You flew me. No, no, Jason! Jason! <laughs> So it's not a slime ball then. Nice pants. <laughs> You've got ten seconds to tell me what's going on, or I'm really gonna lose my temper. All right, calm down, will you? It's not how it looks. Oh, believe me, Jason. It is exactly how it looks. Your so-called friend here, the person that we split up over, came here because he thought that I was going to sleep with him. Is that true? Sort of, yeah. Sort of? You'd have been like a rabbit up a drain pipe. It's rap. You what? It's a uh, rat, not rabbit. Mm, I always thought it was a ferret. Will you shut up. You've got some nerve you have. I'm sorry, mate, but I thought you and her had finished. Come on, what would you have done in my position? Don't talk about positions. I don't want to hear that sort of talk from you. Just get out, will you? Hey, the door's that way, pal. Oh. Hey, what about my clothes? Tough. But my keys are in my pants. How am I going to get in the house? You can climb down the chimney for all I care. Just do one. If it's any help to you, I seen Tyrone going in the Rovers earlier. Oh. Well, that's a load off. Cheers. Just get out. Well, I mean, if I wasn't 100% sure I was a lesbian before, I definitely am now. <laughs> um, did you really see Tyrone go in the pub? No. I just wanted to prolong his misery for a bit. <laughs> Lovely day for it. Perfect. Well, I'm waiting. For what? For my apology, Jason. Well, you've been waiting a long time. What you did was out of order, Rosie. No, Jason, all I did was show you what kind of person he really is. You made me look like an idiot, and yet I know it's not exactly hard, but it doesn't make me feel any better. I'll have one more. Should give me enough time to get myself looking all gorgeous, ready for my hot day. When is it? Tomorrow. Oi! How come you're at this time, anyway? It's not that yet. Oh, something's wrong with the bogs in the factory, so Carla lets clock off early. Here's to Carla! And to Bob! Rosie! <laughs> 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 well, I'll say this for Rosie Webb, so she doesn't waste much time, does she? I don't want to talk about her. All right. Fine. What can I get you? <laughs> Apart from the obvious. Is Tyrone about? Uh, no, we haven't been in the afternoon. No. Well, that figures. Try a drink while you're waiting. Does it look like I've got any money on me? Well, I thought you might have some tucked away. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, at least he's making you smile, which is something, I suppose. I'm sorry, Missy, Tyrone, I'll tell him you've popped out. I mean, in. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Usual. Please. Um, oh, on second thoughts, make that a large one. Just need to know, can you fix it or not? No. Yeah. Ty, can I borrow your house keys? Why have you got no clothes on? See you later. This bloke wouldn't happen to be Tommy Duckworth by any chance. Yeah, how do you know? All right, mate. How's it going? Let's get one thing straight. I'm not your mate. Not anymore. I'm sorry, all right? No, it's not all right. I stood up for you and this is how you repay me. I made a mistake. You're telling me. Rosie Webster. Oi. Look, I'm sorry, I know she's a girlfriend, but even this. Technically, it's just his ex. You shut up before I do some more regret, and you just serving me pint, all right? Yeah, well, I don't blame him. It's not on that, trying to cop off with some other bloke's bird. Oh, come on, it was only a bit of fun. It wasn't like you and... Soz. No, don't be. It's not like I don't think about him every single day. <laughs>